Bonjour tout le monde. Hello. Um, today we thought we'd give you a tour of the grounds of Chateau Montmagne. Um, the idea of this video is that hopefully in a year's time we can look back on it and go, oh my God, is that really what it looked like and is that the amount of work we've done? Fingers crossed. Um, first, we would like to apologise for what we look like. We've now gone six days with no water, no electricity, so we've not had any showers. Um, Ted built a wonderful fire pit last night so we could have a bit of warmth, um, but apologies there. So we will start with the grounds of Chateau Montmagne. So this is just a real quick scan of the entire property, or the buildings at least. Giving you an idea, so we're just going past the main house to the right. And then this is the uh, old coaching house we think and then just going to walk up this way a bit the stables and the piggeries here as you see everything is so totally overgrown um, and then we'll just do a quick scan of the brambles this is the bramble field well, this is one of them. This is hopefully one day going to be where me and Lisa are going to live. Um, as you see, it's in a bit of a state. Um, things growing. Lots of horrible old loo to me like there's going to be some this has all got to come down I've gone to the corner of the building to just kind of give you an idea of how high it goes um, that's it outside and then we go to obviously this is just regular barns so you can see the troughs there for the animals and lots of crap as his house I might call it the crap house I think but uh, huge amounts of timber batten and in the corner there that orange thing is a pump and a tank for the well so just quickly back outside and as you see the roof goes up probably something like about six or seven meters this door here as I discovered today hides an enormous room the size of the one we've just been in but obviously with that beautiful vault we ceiling this is the front of the well and you see that they've bricked it up so it's definitely got water in it um, but obviously we can't extract that water so old barn door anybody want to build me a barn door my brother who is a chippy and this is uh one of my favourite barns and this is the one we're going to utilise as you see it's a big tarpaulin which hopefully is going to be populated by all our furniture and our belongings when they turn up from England but as you see absolutely stunning roof looks good can't see any daylight in the roof this little pile here which looks like the bin men ain't bin that's my lovely Lisa um, is just the rubbish from two rooms downstairs um, but what we are discovering is a few little treasures some people will call them treasures some people will call them took but we're enjoying ourselves and that's the main thing right so we come out to the makeshift gate to stop the dog getting out which is my car and various bits of framework and then we're looking at the main house but this is the first barn I'm going to zoom out a bit okay and as you see the beautiful tent thank you go outdoors you've done us proud um, we've been in the tent longer than we've ever been in any tent and I'm just scanning round to the tower there giving you a quick overview of the house this side okay so going into the 
main barn again I measured this it's just shy of nine meters high and about 140 square meters kitchen bespoke that is bespoke cost a lot of money um, another little table my ladder I found today so I could explore and this is again cattle barn and underneath there is where I'm going to take you next and then this is underneath so this is underneath that sort of mezzanine level um, again um, but as you can see um, nice and tidy as everywhere else is um, looking good so I'm going to take you out I love the downpipes excuse me dog have you ever seen such ornate downpipes over to the main house and this is the main entrance to the house so we're going to leave it there for the moment um, as we're going to do another video of inside the house so I'm just doing a quick little run down the rest of the building so the main house just, just checking out that tower so there's wooden shingles at the top there 670 years old by all accounts and then we go down look at these roofs these ornate things on the roof I don't know if you can see this but the tiling on this part of the roof has been done in a sort of diamond pattern we're not sure how it's done um, I think it's probably just they're flat rather than overlaid but apparently that is significant but we've yet to find out why now I'm going to take you down to again the absolute sea of brambles and if anybody's got any ideas who can chop those up give us some idea somewhere down here there is the septic tank but I ain't got no idea where it is I don't know if you can see this I can't really see it from here but uh, because of the light but there is a small sort of yeah house little shack there um, and there's another one over there which are on the edge of the lake and the lake starts where they are and finishes where you see those two big trees at the other side now the lake appears to be empty because somebody opened a sluice gate and it's all gone into the lake which is over the other side where the fishermen have I'd imagine it was the fishermen but I'm not blaming anybody I'm not saying anything I'm not accusing anybody um, Limousane cattle over there um, let me just trip over these rocks and show you again the absolute ridiculous amount of brambles that we have got to try and get through to try and even have a look at our land okay so that's the full circle back to the other house thanks for watching